Hello, Retro Bliss Legacy Community. I'm happy to announce the release of a major update to our Voice Command Center, now at version 1.4. This update is packed with new features and improvements designed to enhance your retro gaming experience even further. Before we dive into the details, it's important to note that these new functions do not replace Virtual Man's Reset CFG, BAT, or his game list XML files. You can still download these and copy them to V tools vman retrobat master slash roms the same applies to collections the routines for recovery after retrobat updates remain the same first you run the update then virtual man's reset cfg bat finally you use the voice command functions to restore your specific settings just remember you must run the voice command backup functions before installing a new version of retrobat to ensure a backup of your personal settings in this video we'll explore each of these new features and show you how they make managing your RetroBliss legacy system easier and more intuitive than ever. The first major update is a new folder structure for user settings. To keep things organized and separate from Virtualman's tools, I've created a dedicated directory under V Tools RBL User Backup. This is where all user settings, including the shaders folder, will now reside. By keeping your custom settings and tools separate, this structure ensures that your configurations remain intact and are easier to manage, even when updates are made to the system. Next up is a highly requested feature, the automatic update of your own game list XML files. With this update, you can now use the voice commands backup game list and restore game list to seamlessly update both your custom game list and the main game list located in V Retrobat ROMs. This ensures that any new games you add are backed up and restored effortlessly making it easier than ever to manage your game collection. No more manual file edits, just speak the command and let the voice command center handle the rest. First, let's create a backup of your current game list. To do this, simply say, backup game list. The voice command center will locate and backup all game list XML files from each subdirectory in Velosh Retrobat ROMs. You'll hear a confirmation sound indicating that the backup process has started. Additional info, you can run all the voice commands and complete tasks directly from the Retro Bliss legacy interface. I'm bringing up the command line here just to demonstrate the process. For your convenience, you can always bring up the command line within Retro Bliss legacy by saying console maximize. To minimize it again, simply say console minimize. Backup game list. Creating a backup of all GameList XML files. Please hold on for a moment. All GameList XML files have been backed up for all available systems. Once completed, the backup files will be saved in the vSwash Tools RBL User Backup ROMs directory. Your custom game entries are now safely stored in the My Backup folder for each system. The backup is complete. From now on, always use the game list XML in the My Backup folder to add your games. This file will also serve as a backup and will not be overwritten by the script as long as it exists. It will only be used to compare and add games to the main game list in V Retrobat ROMs. Next, Let's add our LEGO Star Wars games that aren't in Virtualman's list.
With your custom games added to the backup game list, DuxML, it's time to update the main game list. Simply say, Restore Game List. The Voice Command Center will automatically compare the entries in your My Backup Game List with the main game list DuxML file in VRetroBat ROMs. If your custom games aren't already in the main list, they will be seamlessly added. You'll get a confirmation once the restore process is complete, ensuring that your personalized game list is now part of the main system. Restore Game List. Restoring your Game List XML files. Please hold on for a moment. All GameList XML files have been updated with the newly added games, and all systems on V, Retrobat ROMs have been updated. When the restore is complete, the script will display the number of games that have been added, along with the names of the games and the system they belong to. If an error is encountered during the process, the script will display the system, the line and column number in the game list XML and indicate that the XML is not well formatted. Now, you might be wondering what happens if V-Man adds new games to the main list, like new PS3 game data in his game list XML, and you run a game list sync. Will this overwrite your changes? Yes, it will overwrite all game list XML files in V, Retrobat, ROMs, and the games you have added will disappear. This is normal when performing a gameless sync as it replaces all files in V, Retrobat, ROMs. But don't worry, as long as your gameless XML is updated in the My Backup folder, you can easily restore your custom games. Here's what you need to do. Run the Backup Gameless command, then run the Restore Gameless command. This process will update the main gameless XML with the latest entries from VMLN and restore your own games to the main gameless XML in V Retrobat ROMs. Next, Let's try running the synchronize game list command. This will overwrite all the game list DuxML files in V, Retrobat, ROMs. We'll then see if the script can successfully add our games from the My Backup folder and restore them correctly. Synchronize game list. Synchronizing game list XML. Please hold on for a moment. All game list XML files have been copied to V. Retrobat ROMs. Restore Game List. Restoring your Game List XML files. Please hold on for a moment. All GameList XML files have been updated with the newly added games, and all systems on V, Retrobat ROMs have been updated. Let's try something extreme. We'll delete a significant number of PS3 games from the main list in V Retrobat ROMs. Then we'll see if our backup can restore these games. This will simulate having more games than what's currently in V-Man's list and wanting to add them back to the main game list, XML.
Restore game list. Restoring your game list XML files. Please hold on for a moment. All GameList XML files have been updated with the newly added games, and all systems on V, Retrobat ROMs have been updated. Keeping your emulation station settings intact during updates can be a hassle, but not anymore. With this update, you can use the voice commands Backup Emulation Station and Restore Emulation Station to backup and restore all your Emulation Station config files. This function ensures that all the user-specific settings you've customized on your version of RetroBliss Legacy are preserved during Retrobat updates. Now, you can update with confidence, knowing that your personalized Emulation Station settings are safely stored and ready to be restored whenever you need them. Backup Emulation Station Creating a backup of Emulation Station config files. Please hold on for a moment. All Emulation Station config files have been backed up, and a copy has been added to v slash tools slash rbl user t backup or retrobat slash emulation station. Next, let's restore the Emulation Station config files from our backup. By running the Restore Emulation Station command, we'll ensure that all your personalized settings are restored and applied, keeping your setup just the way you like it. Restore Emulation Station. Restoring your settings files for Emulation Station Please hold on for a moment. All config files have been updated with your settings and copied back to V. Retrobat Emulation Station. Next, let's restore the Emulation Station config files from our backup. For demonstration purposes, we'll first remove a lot of settings from the config files. This will show you how the script is capable of identifying the missing settings and restoring them accurately with the Restore Emulation Station command. Restore Emulation Station. Restoring your settings files for Emulation Station. Please hold on for a moment. All config files have been updated with your settings and copied back to V. Retrobat Emulation Station.
The final feature in this update focuses on safeguarding your game settings within RetroArch and Retrobat. By using the voice commands Backup Game Settings and Restore Game Settings, you can ensure that all user-specific configurations are backed up and restored when you update Retrobat. This feature covers everything, including RetroArch configurations, emulator configurations, game-specific configurations, core configurations, game content configurations. Whether you've fine-tuned emulator settings, customized core options, or adjusted game-specific content, this function will back up all your settings before an update and restore them afterward. It's a comprehensive safety net to keep your gaming environment just the way you like it, even after major updates. Now, let's back up the game and emulator settings. Using the Backup Game Settings command will securely save all your personalized configurations for games, emulators, cores, and content. This ensures that your custom settings are safely stored and ready for restoration after any updates. Backup Game Setting Creating a backup of RetroArch game config files and emulator settings. Please hold on for a moment. All game config files have been backed up, and a copy has been added to VTools RBL underscore user underscore backup Retrobat. Now let's restore the game and emulator settings. By running the Restore Game Settings command, will bring back all your personalized configurations for games, emulators, cores, and content settings. This ensures that your customized settings are restored after any updates. Restore Game Setting. Restoring your game setting files for emulator settings and RetroArch. Please hold on for a moment. All game config files have been restored to V, Retrobat, Emulators, and RetroArch config. Final recap. Run Retro Bliss. Legacy Voice Command Center. Backup functions. Start by backing up all your game lists, emulation settings, and personal configurations. Run the Retrobat update. Apply the latest Retrobat updates to keep your system up to date. Run Virtual Man's Reset TFG .bat. This ensures all core configurations are refreshed and ready for use. Run Retro Bliss, Legacy Voice Command Center. Restore functions. Restore all your personal settings, game lists, and emulator configurations exactly as they were. Enjoy and happy gaming. With everything restored and up to date, dive back into your games and enjoy the perfect retro gaming experience. With these new features, Retro Bliss Legacy Voice Command Center 1.4 takes system management to the next level. From a new organized folder structure to seamless voice-activated backups and restores, this update ensures that your retro gaming experience is more streamlined and enjoyable than ever. Thank you for being a part of this amazing community. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates and tutorials. Happy gaming, everyone!